Hi guys, welcome to your weekly horoscope with Jesus. We are going to talk about um, the coming year. We have just crossed the equinox. That means in the spiritual realm, it is a brand new year. So we're going to talk about not only Aries season, but looking forward through the whole year in this horoscope. Okay. So let me take you to my studies. Um, it's very short. Stick with me on this. I was in the Bible looking through um, some words and I was taken to this word. It's H1354. What it means is a convex surface or back, back of a man. So if you look at the top picture, we have a convex surface with the rainbow. Okay. Actually, the picture up there is the back of a man also, because this right here is his spine. Then we've got his two shoulder blades right here, and his head is bowed, and he's looking down, okay? So the back of a man, a convex surface. If you look at the middle picture of the eye, um, the cornea is also a convex surface, okay, guys? Eyebrow rim of a wheel, what it means here, hollow or curve, a vault. So a vault means an arched ceiling the arch of the eye. Okay, that's what this word means. We've talked about this a lot on my channel already. And then the definition here, the back of animals, right here, and of men. The plowers plowed upon my back, it says in Psalm 129. They cut my back with stripes as the ground is cut with a plow. So this is important, okay? Your back cut with stripes. Okay, back, boss of a shield. This is the back of a shield, you guys. And look at what it means right here. A metaphor taken from soldiers who join their shields closely together like a testudo. Okay, so we've been talking all about soldiers on this channel for a long time because we've been talking about the host of heaven. Now, host means stars. The host of heaven means stars. So we're talking about the zodiac, the horoscope today, but it also means angels, the same word in Hebrew, and it means armies, which would be the word for soldiers. Okay? So we're talking about the host of heaven now. Soldiers who join their shields together to make one big shield like a testudo. So when I study... Um, if you're new to my channel, I often have words that kind of stick out to me. And I know I'm supposed to follow this word, this trail, because the Spirit is speaking to me about this word, testudo, okay? So anyway, we have a bulwark and a fortress, a vaulted house, a vault. It's all about my pictures above, okay? The eyebrow, as if the bow of the eye, okay? Um, here we go. Testudo in the dictionary. A movable shelter with a strong and usually fireproof arched roof. Movable shelter with a fireproof arched roof. That's what you're looking at when you're looking at the rainbow. Okay? Used for protection of soldiers. And another definition, a shelter formed by overlapping oblong shields held by shoulders, soldiers above their heads. Okay? The origin of testudo right here. Tortoise, tortoise shell. So if you can picture the tortoise shell, it he has like all these different shapes that fit together like a puzzle on his back. That's like soldiers holding up their individual shields, joining them together to make one big shield. Movable shelter, just like the tortoise, just like the turtle. Okay. Right here, testudo, akin to test, test. And this is the word I'm supposed to go look up. So test means to undergo a test or trial, to try out, to perform on a test. Okay, guys. So what does this have to do with the horoscope? Well, this is talking to us about this season that we're entering. In scripture... 
there's a verse that says, think it not strange, this fiery trial, which comes upon you, a fiery trial comes upon you, but this shield is fireproof, luckily. Okay. So out in the world for the past year in particular, we've had signs that point to destruction. We've had plagues and sickness and illness and chaos and shootings and uprisings and protestings. We've had a horrible time on earth, and it seems as if we are in a time of trial, fiery trial at that, okay? That's what it appears like is going on in the world. In fact, the Bible talks about the end of the world, the apocalypse coming with all of this fire. The elements shall melt with fervent heat, says scripture, okay? So as if God is going to send down all of this fire in the apocalypse. Okay. It turns out that this is not the time for that burning. And it is specifically because there is an army of soldiers on the bridge who have a shield to protect us from the fire that's coming down from the universe. Okay. So we went through a little bit of this in order to avoid the fire yourself, all you have to do is believe what every spiritual person is telling you today, that this fire that's coming down from heaven is actually, literally, energy, increased energy, increased light, increased light and energy. And energy contains information, guys. Um, People are starting to understand things rapidly in spiritual terms these days, okay? There are people below the bridge, you guys, that reside, resonate at a lower frequency. And you can see these people and they're disheartened. They're scared. They're fearful. They don't understand what's going on. Um, th this means that they are residing at kind of a more negative, lower attitude, um, no hope and, and fear, okay? With the new energy pouring in, they're way down here. This energy's up here and there's friction between the two. Okay, because one frequency does not vibe with the other frequency. They're moving at different speeds and there's friction between them. Okay, in order to come out of that lower frequency, all we have to do is believe what the spirit is saying. Okay, there is a group of people that already are resonating at the higher frequency. They have a greater understanding of what they're seeing in the stars. This is an army of people who have spiritual understanding, and they are able to hold this shield. We've talked a lot about the shield on this channel. It's a diamond shield. They're able to hold this shield in order that it doesn't burn the earth. It doesn't have to burn the earth. It doesn't have to burn the people. It doesn't have to cause friction if you simply understand that it doesn't have to. Okay. Not only that, at the same time, what the universe has already put in place for this time, as if the universe didn't know that more energy and more light was going to be pouring onto the planet, that it would agitate some people in the wrong way. It would make them riled up. It would make them angry. It would make them fearful. It would make them scared. It would make them fight with each other. The source already knew. And so it put some things in place to prevent this from ca causing devastation and destruction, okay? It, one of the things it put in place was the shield. The other thing it put in place is under the other origin of the word test, you guys. So we have, um, I'm sorry, right here. Origin of the word test, because testudo, the tortoise shell, the origin here is test. So you go to the word test, and what it means is earthen pot. 
Now we already have a great understanding of what this means on my channel. It is the water pitcher. The water pitcher in the stars is Aquarius. He holds the water pitcher. And if you look at my picture above, you will see Aquarius right here. So we have a group of people who understand water, right? This in the Bible, it's called the waters above and the waters below the firmament. And those people are ready to pour out the water if the fire even comes. Now it's got two safeties in place, okay? It's got the shield and it's got Aquarius ready to pour out its water. The devastation and destruction is over. All you have to do is believe it. All you have to do is believe. You can choose to believe the physical realm where it seems like there's a lot of chaos, pain and suffering, or you can choose to see that God has already put something in place to protect us from the destruction. Okay. The other origin for the word test, testa, shell, shell, the tortoise shell. We've already had the tortoise shell on this channel. So I went to that teaching and what a tortoise shell is, you guys, is a liar. L-Y-R-E, oh, you can't see it. It is a musical instrument of ancient Greece consisting of a sound box made typically from a turtle shell. With two curved arms connected by a yoke from which the strings are stretched to the body, used especially to accompany singing and recitation. The tortoise shell is made in, also, it's made into an instrument. Now, what is this instrument all about? Another definition of lyre. An ancient Greek stringed instrument consisting of a resonating tortoise shell. So the tortoise shell can resonate at the correct energy to receive what's being poured out onto planet Earth. Okay? To which a crossbar has attached two projecting arms. It was plucked by a plectrum used for accompanying songs. So you sing as you're playing this lyre, tortoise shell with strings. Okay? A medieval bowed instrument of the violin family. Lyre. It's a lyric poem. So whatever these soldiers, who are also angels, who are also stars, remember, whatever they're talking about up on that bridge is a beautiful song. They are strumming the strings of that tortoise shell. Do you see the strings in the rainbow? They are strumming those strings. And this is a beautiful sound to the universe because it's in harmony. It's in tuned. It's tuned in to the spiritual frequency, the energy that's pouring out on planet Earth. They're already attuned to it, these people, okay? A lyric poem, here is the liar. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This, across here, you guys, is a bridge. These are the strings of the liar, okay? These are the curved arms, right here, curved arms. The strings are the stripes on the back of the man. The stripes. Now, just like Jesus, stripes on the back, 40 lashes, right? These are stripes. This is our period of tribulation. Tribulation in the Bible, tribulation testing trial by fire. Judgment Day literally means in the straits, in the narrows, in the channels. This is literally what tribulation means. Okay, but what this turns out to be, these lines, these strings are a direct line of help. This is a direct line. Pick up the phone, call for help, and the spirit residing on this bridge is ready to help you. 
All you have to do is know it's there. All you have to do is know it's there. All you have to do is call for help. This is a direct line to that rainbow bridge. Direct line. So what could have been your trial and tribulation, your straights, your narrows, your fiery trial, turns out God turned it into your help. He turned it into a direct communication line. So there's people up there. It's the crisis line. There's people up there who understand the frequency, the energy, the information pouring out by the Spirit. Pick up the phone, listen to what they're saying, and you you will be relieved. You don't have to fear. You are given hope. You understand that the indignation is overpassed, like the Bible says. The indignation is passing over. It will barely even touch you if you believe. It will barely even touch you. This doesn't have to be a fiery trial. It doesn't have to be a flood. There's a shield up there. Okay. What is the liar? It, it, the tortoise shell is in here, you guys. It, it's not shown in this picture, but maybe this is it. This wrapping around here, right? And then it curves over on the edges. So what is this in symbolism? It is the season of the ram. It's the season of the ram. See the curved horns? See the face here and the curved horns? It's the exact same symbol as the lyre. Okay. Here it is again. The ram's horn curved over just like the tortoise shell on its belly here. Okay. The ram in scripture, it's also a, a musical instrument. The ram's horn or trumpet now, what this represents, you guys, is that literally, it, I can only say it in biblical speak, the indignation's overpassed. The trial is over. The trial is over. We are entering into a time of great blessing because God is pleased by the song he is hearing from the bridge, so to speak. This is how the Bible talks about it. Okay, but you can, you can think of it in any terms that you like. Source is... Recognizing that people are understanding, and this is a great blessing for the whole earth. Okay? The ram's horn represents a year of jubilee in the Bible. A year of jubilee. What it means. Okay, first of all, jubilee. A black American folk song concerned with future hap happiness or deliverance from tribulation. Whatever you have been suffering, you guys, you now have the direct line to free you from that trial. Okay? There's enough energy on the planet that all you have to do is turn to the spirit. Listen there. Listen there. Because this is also the man, the man's back, your own your own cords running up your spine, your own spinal cord, you have it too, okay? All you have to do is center yourself there and you will find peace, okay? That's what's coming this year. Jubilee, a year-long period to be observed by Jews once every 50 years during which Jewish slaves were to be freed, alienated lands were to be restored to the original owner or heir, and the fields were to be left untilled. All agricultural labors were to be suspended. Um, in Bible speak, the fields, the earth, is this flesh dust of the earth. You're made of the dust of the earth. And so you're toiling and you're struggling and you're slaving and your labors can be put to rest. This is the beginning of a tilt. We're crossing the finish line here with the equinox. If you can understand, you can end your race. You cross the finish line, the victory's already won, always has been. You just have to understand those concepts. 
okay? And then you're entering into a new era. We're entering into a new era. An era where the spirit is going to be exalted, okay? Spiritual things are going to be much more important. And it's because this is your essence. You think you're a physical being, but it's quite the contrary. You are literally a spiritual being first, playing the character of a flesh person, okay? So start listening to the truer part of you, that spiritual part, that energetic part, whatever gives you life, whatever animates you, whatever your passion is, that is your spiritual connection. That is who you are. What makes you able to speak? What makes you able to wake up in the morning? What makes you able to ambulate? Okay, it's your spirit. Trust that first, and you will be able to see these blessings coming. Okay? Okay, so we're entering a great season and a great year and a great new era. And we have a word for this from the spirit, okay? And it was titled Aries Season Equinox. That's what it was titled. My dear ones, we are entering a time of great rejoicing. Do not heed your two eyes, but instead focus, on, focus the single eye that you may see what is ahead. I tell you truly, you have the power to foresee. Foresight gives you comfort for you know that all is well. You know that all works together for your good. I would have it no other way. Focus. Be single-minded. Trust in the power of God, not the power of men. Is not the victory already won? That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.